night, good morning, good morning, everybody. So, we've had a couple of videos recorded where I talk about measurements of firewood. I live in Louisiana, um, was military, retired out of this area, and uh, they measure firewood different than anybody. I talk to people and I liken it to the metric system and how I think there's like two countries, the United States and somebody else that doesn't go with the metric system. So had a little issue today, easily resolved. We're gonna go and take care of this customer because we wanna provide good customer service. No matter the amount of communication that I try to have with somebody, sometimes it still gets lost in translation. So what happened today was a contacted, a customer contacted me, asked for a couple of cords of firewood. Hey, all the firewood people know this. A cord of firewood is 128 cubic feet. That's however you want to slice it. The vast majority of firewood producers cut wood down to 16 inch lengths. So that means a cord of firewood would be three rows of firewood that is stacked four foot tall, eight feet long, three of those. Two cords would then end up being six of those those racks or those uh, large stacks. Talk to the customer. They explain that no, they don't have near that much room, that they only have room for two racks of firewood. So we reiterated what exactly they were looking for, and they were looking for two four by eight racks filled. And they asked specifically for the shorter length cuts because their last firewood guy decided it was much easier if you just cut it down to 24 inch lengths and you get what you get. Uh, their fireplace doesn't accommodate that. So no big deal. We got it figured out. We talked for a while. I thought we had a good understanding of what I was coming with. So I loaded two of my baskets and my baskets hold one face cord, one rick, or one one third of a cord, depending on how you want to call it. It gets confusing in my home state because one third of a cord in Louisiana is also known as a half cord. Long story short, we showed up with a beautiful load of mixed hardwoods. We had ash, hackberry, some pecan, some live oak, maple, and I don't think we had any other real species, maybe a couple of pieces of regular red oak, white oak, water oak in there. But got there, lo and behold, they have four racks. One of their racks was almost full and all they really needed to do was order one actual cord of firewood. So we're gonna head home, we'll film loading up that last basket of dried seasoned firewood. It's a little rainy and gross today, but firewood is dry from the inside out it's not going to absorb any of this rain so we can go ahead and deliver a little bit and more importantly we've got the dump trailer today and the yard is dry as a bone so we want to go ahead and get this done before the real rain comes over the next two or three days and gets everything saturated because the truck is heavy the dump trailer is heavy heavier with a thousand pounds or more of firewood in the back so we're going to do it without running out the yard so that's where we're headed back to the wood yard to grab one more basket of firewood probably should have done better to communicate with the customer if you have advice on how i should communicate it i often say third cords or face cord a few people say rick and then again in louisiana they call it a half cord and then sometimes they'll ask for a full cord which is two face cords two ricks or two one-thirds of a cord, which obviously is not a full cord, it's two-thirds of a cord. My brain now hurts. So if you have a recommendation on how I should communicate with customers to make sure that I only have to make one trip to deliveries, I'm glad to take it. All right, in the distance, you can hear the tractor because it's warming up. We are back from that little bit of miscommunication, probably my fault. I think 
I think I'm just going to start asking for people what they need, what they have, what they know, instead of me explaining what a normal Midwesterner or Canadian or Northerner calls a face cord or a rick or a cord. I think I'll just go with what they know, and instead of communicating with them in terms that I don't quite understand myself, I'm starting to understand a little more, but I think I'm going to probably start communicating on them with what size rack they have. Just ask them. Everyone I know, I've only taken firewood to one person. They said dump it on the ground because they don't have a rack and they're going to get one. So I think I may just start doing that. I may just say, hey, what size rack do you have? I can fill that for this price. I think that works. I know someone has told me one time, smarter than me, said, go from the known to the unknown. So instead of me trying to explain what I measure firewood by and what most of the people I grew up with measure it, uh, adapt and overcome, this is where I'm at. People measure differently, so I'll just ask them what size rack they have and go with that. So I'm gonna get over here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna load up this last little bit of one basket, one face cord, one rick, one third of a cord. All right, hopefully the hardest part of this entire thing is the setting up of the camera to where I don't get the license plate and get my identity stolen or whatever people do when they get your license plate. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this done, get some of the scrap out of here. Got this trailer on a good deal from my friends at Big Tech's trailer. They do a great job, um, made me a very fair price. And the trailers are very well made. What she told me is the only real manufacturing issue you're gonna have is at some point you're gonna forget to put the doors, you're gonna forget to pin them back so when you tilt, you're gonna end up bending these hinges. I haven't done that yet. I did have an issue with the braking system I talked about in an earlier video. All the power in the brakes was going to one wheel and that one wheel was locking up and causing it to rub raw. Took it back, got it fixed couple days no big deal in fact they even gave me the old rim and a new tire so that's now my spare i need to get that mounted it's not on there yet but got that so pretty pretty reasonable if that is a rare occurrence and there's no other real manufacturer defect i think i'm gonna have this thing for a long time before anything else Got some wood delivered. There's the original. There's another. And then this is the last little rack. We're gonna finish up here. They got a beautiful little place to store it. Right here. 
Let's try and get you loaded up. Right. Hey, no animals were harmed in the making of this video. We did see that black lab walk through, so we stopped the dump trailer. But this is the end result. Some high quality ash, a little bit of maple, a little bit of live oak left in there, but 99% ash. Um, but this is a good testament that the tote method will hold one rick, one face cord, one four foot by eight foot row. So that's the way we're gonna to continue to stack. It makes it easier. You don't have to touch the firewood a certain amount of times. And like you saw in this video, using the tractor to load the dump trailer is pretty quick. We got the dump trailer down. You saw that part to start this video, but last minute, um, last thing I'll do is a shameless plug. If you haven't liked and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do it. Let us know how you uh, find these videos. Hopefully they're entertaining. Hopefully you learn a little something and just know that that support really does go a long way to help us uh, continue to do something that we find to be a lot of fun. Beautiful piece of property out here. Easy to get to with the trailer. This is one of those deliveries that are super awesome if you work on your communication up front so you don't have to make two trips. So talk to you guys soon.